okay vlog i i'm just popping in here because i was debating on refilming this entire video if you can't tell i dyed my hair completely brown like brunette my hair is dark now and i felt like oh should i just refilm my Dyson tutorial. I was kind of torn about it, but I think I'm just gonna upload it because my routine will stay the same, but my hair does look a lot different now. I'm really excited to share my routine with you guys and give you guys a little vlog. So yeah. Good morning vlog. Oh, these masks are my absolute favorite. They're from Loops and they now sell in Target. So today I'm having a little self-care day. Tommy left last night and it was hard for me, honestly. I like get so sad when he leaves Connecticut specifically because like I said in my last vlog, I just don't get much time with him here. But I do have a good routine here with like my life here in Connecticut that I'm so busy and I have so many like things going on when I'm home that I'm Fine, like I really am and love that this is truly like my space like the bathroom is pink you know it's definitely my house um, but it is really sad when he leaves but the only bright side that I could find is that I could have a completely and totally self-care morning by myself yeah, doing all the little things doing some errands so that's what I'm gonna do today okay also guys I'm filming on another camera today so if it looks a little bit different or if you like it better, let me know in the comments. I have like four cameras that I use for my vlogs and I don't know if I get bored and switch it up or if I'm constantly just trying to see which ones I like better. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this quality better. You probably won't even be able to tell, to be honest. Anyways, I'm in my glam room. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. So I've had this Dyson for like, I feel like three years now. Never was able to use it. Never had any idea how to use it. Um, kind of gave up after two tries. Also my hair just wasn't in a great place. But recently I obviously have gotten my hair to a place that it is healthier, it looks nicer. My hair actually feels like hair now. And I've really been able to figure out how to style it with my Dyson. I saw a hair dresser on TikTok say, you're not using your Dyson wrong, your hair just is not damp. And that changed my life. So right when I get out of the shower, I use the Wella Ultimate Repair. And then I brush it, leave it up in the towel, to just sort of absorb a little bit. And then when it gets to this damp stage, I run my blow dryer through it quickly. Today I'm feeling kind of crazy, so I'm gonna use a um, little bit of volume mousse but the step is optional um i just have the time today i said this in my last youtube video but i do have a lot of hair so blow drying my hair does take a long time but with the dyson and with the correct products and then with pinning the hair up in certain places it really does last me a long time oh and for mousse i just use the pantene volume and body i'm a pantene Stan. I just love the scent. I think to me is the first thing that I love about Pantene. It's just like super nostalgic for me and I just love it. It's the best. I also just feel like it works. It might be putting a coat of wax on my hair, but my hair is soft. So I don't know what to say. Okay, so my first step is always gonna be going in with my Dyson to just like blow dry my roots. I blow it all kind of like up and back. Okay, so basically I just dried the root of my hair and then sort of like smoothed out this in between and it's still damp. So this is sort of where you wanna be before you go in with your Dyson Era. The way that this tool has become my best friend, I travel to Europe so much that I actually bought one for my Europe travels because I now can literally not live without it. So there is a quicker way of doing this. I personally have a lot of hair so I feel like most days I do have to section it off and do it in different sections. But if I were to blow dry more of my hair and smooth more of it out, I could technically get away with doing that and then just blow drying the ends. But I'm gonna do my whole head today. So before I go in with the air wrap, I just brush the pieces out. So another thing that I do that I feel like I don't see a lot of people doing is that I actually use the barrel in the same direction for my whole head. I'm basically trying to wrap all of the hair 
underneath like this, underneath like this. I'm not changing directions with this tool that switches. I don't change it even around my face. I do it all going towards my face, which I feel like gives a very certain effect, especially by my face. It gives this like sort of like 90s blowout beveled look all coming in. Then I will shut it off while it's still all wrapped up and then I'll just bring it down like that. And then using hair rollers or curling it back up into a little coil and then pinning it does make a difference, like 100%. Allowing this curl to cool in this pattern definitely makes a big difference. Okay, the bottom half is done. Now I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of my hair. But something that I wanna show you guys is how I do my face. I feel like the face pieces make a huge difference in the look of the blowout. Okay, basically I'm gonna take this piece by my face and I'm gonna hold the Dyson pretty close to my root and then let it go this way with it and then go down. Here, I'll show you guys. Start like this. And then I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna hold it really close to my head. Like that. And when you lift it up, it creates more volume at your root. Okay, watch. Okay, do you see that volume? That was actually a really good one. Do you see how this like bevels out and down? So I'm actually gonna pin up this whole piece Together, and then you want to pin it sort of up. So same sort of thing. Then if I have the time, I will try to put the pieces closest to my face in a roller. Again, that's only if I have time, but I do see a difference when I put a few rollers by my face. Okay, I want to show you guys one more time by my face. Pull up. The tension of pulling up will make a big difference with volume by your root. See that? It's so good. This is what you wanna see. And I'm gonna put this one in a little roller, just right there. Okay, now I'm just left with the front pieces that are kind of shorter for me. gonna start pulling everything out. Okay, this side is all out. I'm gonna give it one last hairspray. My hair looks so short when I take all these pins out. I feel like over the past year, my appearance has changed in a really great way. My hair is darker, my hair is shorter, dissolved my lip filler. Okay, gonna spray this side. So this is pre-brush blowout. I feel like my hair is so short right now. I actually really like this length. Okay, now I'm just gonna brush it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to do my makeup fairly quickly today. Okay, first I'm gonna go in with this lip stain from Sachu Beauty, that's how you say it. And it's in Hey 04 and it's really just like brown. First, I'm gonna go in with the Dior foundation stick. This is their new foundation stick. It's super popular right now. I got sent it and I've been really loving it. I love the scent. I love the consistency. It's very buildable, so I totally understand the hype about it. The only thing I will say about it is you definitely have to set it because it's quite glowy, but I don't think that's a bad problem at all. I personally prefer blending out consistencies like this with a brush. I've let myself get so 
hail this year for me. I mean, I feel like for those of you guys who have followed me for a while, I normally am quite tan. I tan very, very easily. I can get very tan, but I also can get very, very pale. And I never really embraced that until this year. I honestly think that just goes back to feeling more comfortable and confident in my own skin. And it definitely took me a few weeks to get used to not seeing my face and it being tan because that's what I've been doing for like two years. But I'm definitely starting to think that it looks a lot better. Although I would be lying if I said that I was not excited to go to Florida this winter and tan, but I'm going to be wearing sunscreen and protecting my face. Next, I'm just gonna go in with this Liss contour stick. This is in shade DG6. I feel like everyone on TikTok tries to convince you to buy this. I am definitely a victim of the TikTok shop. Do you guys remember Wanello back in the day? But TikTok shop reminds me a lot of Wanello. It's basically cheap stuff from China that you feel like you need. But I'm not gonna lie, what I do like about TikTok shop is how fast it comes in the mail. I feel like I order something and it literally shows up at my doorstep an hour later. It also blends very well with the Dior foundation stick. Okay, just gonna do my eyebrows. I've been really loving anything Victoria Beckham beauty. Honestly, the quality of the products is just really good. I'm also gonna go in with her contour stick. I really love the applicator for this. It's this really skinny contour stick. And I'm just gonna contour a few areas. I'm gonna contour my lips a little bit. I'm gonna put some here for a little bit of a lift. And then I might put some here. I'm gonna start by blending this out with my fingers just to warm up the product. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. I've been doing my contouring after I bronze and I really enjoy doing that because I feel like you don't need much to contour, you just need a little bit. And I like doing it after I've done the bronzer so I'm not using too much product. Okay, just gonna set my bronzer with this Liss bronzer. Also got this on TikTok shop. Is in No Limits. It's crazy, I feel like I don't even need eyeshadow now that I use that Victoria Beckham to contour. And then I'm just gonna use the Givenchy Prism powder and I'm just gonna lightly dust the areas that need to be set. Okay, then I'm gonna go with the NYX Nude Truffle. All my eyelashes. I'm trying to decide if I want to do blush. I think I might not today. I don't think I'm gonna put on mascara either. I'm just gonna set my face. I always try to protect my hair when I set my face because I feel like it makes my hair greasy. Just using the Makeup by Mario setting spray. Lastly, just going in with the Summer Fridays in Vanilla Beige. Okay, here's the final look for today. It took me a long time to get ready today. I feel like that took us forever, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I feel like it's long overdue. So, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll also loved this Nexus comb through flexible hold spray. So recommend this one 100%. Okay guys, we're finally leaving the house. I started filming this vlog a little bit later in the day and I actually had a really productive morning. But by the time I finished filming the tutorial for you guys, did my makeup, shot some photos for our bedding drop tomorrow, called Tommy, the sun is setting, but it's okay. I am going now to go get my nails done and I need to go to the market, I need to go to Home Goods. There are a few other things that I also need to do that I'm probably not gonna end up doing today. I've obviously been vlogging like a little bit less. I also feel like I've just been sharing less online. And honestly guys, I just feel so comfortable and confident 
in my life and with myself now more than ever. And I think that that's also translated into me vlogging less in a weird way. I do feel like those two things are related. I've also just been doing a lot of thinking recently about my brands, my personal brand, and then my two businesses, and just what I want to do going into this next year and who I really want to be and what's really going to make me happy. I guess I just have a better idea of who I am and what makes me happy and what I'm interested in and what I want to put my work and effort into. And I have to say, finally knowing that on social media feels so amazing. And it definitely doesn't mean that I'm not gonna vlog as much. I wanna vlog like just as much, if not more. Self-care vlog. You're starting off the self-care vlog with McDonald's. I've said this before, but I bring my own Gel X Apre nails because I think they're the prettiest shape. Um, highly recommend you can get any sort of different shape from Apre, the brand that I love on Amazon. They have square, round, coffin, I get round shaped medium. That's my favorite. Um, but I bring it with me because not many nail salons carry or use Apre. My nail salon in LA does, but not my nail salon in Connecticut. So. Finally from my errands. I never showed my nails. I just got a very simple French manicure. I feel like this is the most exciting thing that I've done today. Home goods. Okay, first these really cute Hello Kitty to go hot cups. I drink a lot of tea, so I'm excited to drink my tea on the go in these really cute holiday Hello Kitty cups. Next, I just got these strainers. These come in handy a lot. I got these gloves because I was doing dishes the other night and it got underneath my nails and it dawned on me in that moment that I could be wearing gloves while I was doing the dishes. And then I saw these and I was like, perfect. Got new loofahs for the shower. Got this really cute loaf holiday dish. Dish? I don't know if it's dish. And then more importantly, I got a holiday candle. I got two, three holiday candles. I got two of these because they smell so good. And then I got a green one. It is so, so good. If you have a home goods near you, I bet you they have these. So delicious Christmas vibes. It's not too early. This is your sign. I'm going to light one of these literally right now. And I also got this one. Yum. Smells like a literal tree. I really should have gotten four, but if I love them, I'll go back and get more because they're pretty affordable for a candle this big. I spent like, I don't even wanna know how much money, way too much money on this Diptyque candle. And I really love the smell, but I burn candles all day long. This is not sustainable. So, gonna start cooking dinner now. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to do a Brussels sprout salad that I've been making a lot recently that I'm really excited to show you guys. And then I'm gonna do salmon, and then maybe some couscous or rice. I'm not super hungry, but I really need to eat. Also guys, it's so funny. I feel like Thanksgiving already happened because I had my Friendsgiving, but Thanksgiving has not happened and I am hosting it. Like 15 family members of mine are coming to my new house and I'm hosting for the first time and I couldn't be more excited about it. Like, but I keep forgetting that Thanksgiving didn't already happen. I'm a little bit mentally ahead because of my Friendsgiving, but I'm really looking forward to hosting this year. Um, with my family. So basically my schedule for the next little bit is, my next thing is Tuesday. I have a Friendsgiving with Tori Birch in New York City and then I have to fly to Aspen to shoot 
our Dairy Boy holiday collection. There's this one piece in this collection that is the best thing that I own and have ever made. Um, but anyways, doing that, coming back, Thanksgiving, and then December gets crazy. I have a crazy, crazy December. So I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving and enjoying my last bit of time here until it gets a little bit crazy and then I come back for the holidays. Obviously in the winter I spend a lot of time in Florida, so yeah, always busy. trying to find ways to preserve my blowouts now that I actually know how to blow out my hair. I found funny enough that the higher I put this on my head, the better this turns out. So I think, and this is not a tutorial because I really don't know what I'm doing, you wrap that around there and come around. Oh. I feel like this looks promising even though it doesn't like I, I just feel like I'm gonna wake up and this is gonna give dove bar of soap that's all I use normally I want to do a dove collab manifesting that for myself I want to do a dove dairy boy Dove Soap Bar Dairy Boy collab called like the milk, milky bar. I don't know, I'll work on the idea, but I know that I wanna do a collab. This actually stayed a lot better than I thought it would. Oh. oh. Wait, I fear it ate, like low key. Okay, it's way too curly, it, like needs a brush. Oh my God. Uh, Well, oh, oh, it's 11, drop day. Okay guys, our American term fall drop is now live. And of course I am a step behind. Is my phone. First of all, wow. My hair looks crazy and my face is so puffy still. I don't know why I'm not awake yet. It's like 1 p.m. I'm gonna guess I am in my pajamas still. First, before I get into the drop, the sleepy tie. Guys, it actually like worked last night pretty unbelievably. I mean, this is pretty good, guys. I swear to God, I have not touched my hair with any tool today. I honestly don't even need to. Okay, well, this works. Love that for us. <laughs> Anyways, guys, the drop today for American Charm went amazing. I am just so grateful and happy. You guys know that home just means so much to me and like the home brand off Dairy Boy is truly like a passion project for me. And, um, and yeah, thank you to anyone who ordered. And if you're thinking about ordering, um, there should be some inventory left. There's definitely limited inventory of a few things, but hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, you can still go and grab it if you want it. Um, I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try to get this vlog up for you guys.